everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so let's wait for you to join us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so Teacher Paihili is here with us today. So you can see her. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to mute you all first and later you can ask me or Teacher Paihili questions. Okay? Is that clear? So here we go. Okay, so today we will have midterm review, science, and math. So, we will not be learning any topics today. So, we will just do review lessons and review tests. Okay? Okay, so we will have 10 items for science and another 10 items for math. Okay? So, Later, after we finish answering all the tests, we will review, we will answer together, and we will see if you got the correct answer. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so here are the following topics that you have to review for science. Okay, so we finished until chapter 4. So we have done with chapter 1. And here are the following subtopics that you need to read. Okay, so we have the following. Our body, keeping our body clean. Brushing teeth and taking care of our eyes. So, you can open your books. Okay? So, you can look at it there. Okay? Okay, so this one. Science book. Okay, for chapter 2, we have animals. And we have the following subtopics. We have fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So, we're done with this one. Remember the different groups of animals. Chapter 3 about plants with the subtopics. Sub so we have the whole plant, the stem, roots, and leaves. We also have the flowers, fruits, and seeds. And for chapter 4, we will only have the different objects and the different materials. Okay? Okay, so do not worry, I will send the I will send this PowerPoint to you after. Okay? So these are the topics that I included for your midterm exam next week. Okay? ค่ะอันนี้นะคะเป็นอ่าหัวข้อที่นักเรียนจะต้องไปอ่านในหนังสือนะคะหนังสือของเรียนนักเรียนไซเอนเล่มสีม่วงนะเล่มสีม่วง
Okay. Write the date today. And write the numbers 1 to 10. Okay? Show me your thumbs if you're done. So we can start from number 1. Okay? How's it now? Okay, done. Okay. Ready? Uh, ready? Okay, very good. Grace, done. How about the others? Done. Okay, Nina, done. Ready? Okay, so let's start. Okay, are there any questions before we start? Any questions? Okay, so. What you're going to do is you only have to write the letter of your answer. Do not copy the words. Okay, just the letter. If your answer is A, write A. If your answer is B, write B. And same with C and D. Okay. <laughs> ตัวอักษรนะคะไม่ต้องเขียนลอกไปทั้งหมดเขียนแค่ตัวอักษรนะคะเขียนคําตอบของนักเรียนข้อไหนที่ถูกต้องนักเรียนก็เขียนตัว
Oh, do not give birth to live young. Okay. One of them lays eggs. And which animal is it? Is it the monkey, the dog, the whale, or turtle? Except means not included in the group. It means the different among the group. Okay. Okay. Finish number five. Okay, which animal is a mammal? So we already know the different groups of animals. We have the fish, reptiles, mammals, and so on. Okay, so which animal is a mammal? Okay, we have lizard, dolphin, tuna, tuna fish, and owl. Which animal is a mammal? A. Lizard B. Dolphin C. Tuna D. Owl Number 6 A part of a plant that takes in water and nutrients from the soil Again A part of a plant that takes in water and nutrients from the soil. Okay. From the soil. Okay. A. Roots. B. Stem. C. Fruit. D. Leaves. Again, part of a plant that takes in water and nutrients from the soil. A. Roots B. Stem C. Fruit D. Leaves Am I too fast? Okay Okay, so let's proceed to number 7 Okay Number 7 A part of a plant that protects the seeds Again a part of a plant that protects the seed. So if you can still remember, we have six different parts of a plant, right? Okay, A, we have stem. B, leaves. C, fruit. D, roots. A part of a plant that protects the seeds. Oh, where can you find the seeds? Okay, A, stem, B, leaves, C, fruit, D, roots. Okay, let's proceed to number... Alright, number A. Okay, so which object is made of rubber? Which object is made of rubber? A. Scissors. B. Buttons. C. Mirror. D. Balloon. Which object is made of rubber? A. Scissors. B. Buttons. This one. The one on your shirt. Mirror. And D. Balloon. Done? Okay, number nine. All right. So these objects can be made of wood. Okay, so the following objects can be made out of wood. Except. Okay, so which of these objects do not or cannot be made out of wood? Okay. A. Marbles. B. Frame. So we're talking about the photo frame or picture frame. C. Ruler. D. Bed. Okay. So marbles can be made of wood. How about frame? Ruler. Bed. So which object cannot be made out of wood? Okay. And the last number we have. Okay. Number 10. So, these objects can be made of plastic, except 
So these objects can be made of plastic. Exact A. Table. B. Nails. C. Fork. D. Toys. These objects can be made of plastic. So it means they can be plastic. Okay. A. Table. Have you seen a table made of plastic? B. Have you seen a have you seen nails made of plastic? C. Have you seen fork made of plastic? Or D. Have you seen toys made of plastic? Okay, so done. Okay, so we will check your answers later. So we will proceed to math. Okay, so we will check together later if you still have time. Okay? Okay? Okay, so please get your math notebook. If you cannot find it, you may get, you can also write it beside the same paper. Okay, just write math so you will not be confused. Okay? Okay, so we have re review test in math. So here are the following topics that you need to study or review for math. Okay? So chapter 1, we have the following subtopics. Counting and writing numbers. Ordering numbers and comparing numbers. Okay? Chapter 2, we have meaning of addition. Addition with intent, writing addition sentence, and addition word problems. But I did not include addition word problems, but still you have to review, okay? Chapter 3, we have meaning of subtraction. Subtraction with intent, writing subtraction sentence, and subtraction word problems. And chapter 4, we have numbers 11 to 20 because we end up we ended up there right okay so i did not include place value so we will have place value for the finals ค่ะอันนี้นะคะเป็นเอ่อบทเรียนของคณิตนะคะแมทแมทนะคะก็คือมีตั้งแต่บทที่ 1-4 การเปรียบเทียบตัวเลขนะคะบทที่ 1-10 อ่าเลขหนึ่งถึงสิบเป็นการลบนะคะแล้วก็การเขียนประโยคอ่าการเขียนประโยคการตอบของการลบนะคะแล้วก็เอ่อคำคำที่เป็นปัญหาที่ที
B C D Done? Write the letter only, okay? Okay. Number two. What number comes after five? What number comes after five? A. A. B. Six. C. Four. D. Five. What number comes after five? Eight. Six. Four. Five. Okay, number two. Oh, number three. Okay. What does this mean? So if you have six here plus this symbol and six here. So what does it mean? A. Six is equal to six. B. Six is not equal to six. C. Six is more than six. D. Six is less than six. If you see this sign, what does it mean? Equal, not equal, more than, or less than. Take note of the numbers. Okay? Okay, so let's proceed. So if you see this one, number plus this one. So we are comparing both six. Okay? Are they equal, not equal? Is it more than or less than? Okay, number four, how to write the number 18 in words. How to write number 18 in words. A, B, C, D. How to write the number 18 in words. Or how do you spell 18? Is it A, B, C or D. All right, number five. Done? Okay. Number five, what number comes before 14? What number comes before? Before 14. A, 13. B, 11. C, 15. D, 14. What number comes before? Okay, before 14. 13, 11, 15, 14. Okay, number 6. What is the sum of 5, 2, and 2? What is the sum of 5, 2, and 2. A. 8. B. 9. C. 10. D. 7. What is the sum of 5, 2, and 2? 8. 9. 10. 7. Sum. What do you mean by sum? Are you going to add or subtract? All right, number seven. Okay, so what is nine minus six? What is nine minus six? A, five. B, four. C, three. D, eleven. What is nine minus? Six, five, four, three, eleven. Okay. Eight. Done? Okay. So, keyword used in addition word problems. Keyword used in addition, addition word problems. A. Total number. B. Difference. C minus 
D, left. A keyword used in addition word problems. A, total number. B, difference. C, minus. D, left. Okay, number nine. Okay, so the following are keywords used in subtraction word problems, except one. So which of these do not belong to the group? Okay, subtraction word problem, keywords that we use in subtraction word problems, except one. So one is not included. A, less. B, left. C, sum. D, subtract. Okay, and the last number we have. What are the add-ins in this example? So we have the number sentence 4 plus 3 equals 7. So what number are considered the add-ins? Okay, A, 7. B, 4, 3, and 7. C, 4 only. D, 4 and 3. So in the example, 4 plus 3 equals 7. What will be your add-in? Is it 7? Is it 4, 3, and 7? Is it only 4 or 4 and 3? Add-ins. Uh, add-ins. So we are done with this one. Okay, so that's it. Oh, we only have 4 minutes. Quickly. Alright, do you have any questions? Okay, so we only have four minutes left. So I will only, I, I will send to you the answer keys. So you can check your answer if you got it correctly. Okay? Do not be confused on this part. Okay, wait. Okay, this one. Okay, so how do we take care of our body? So if you answer A, it's correct. If you answer C, it's correct. If you answer D, it's correct. Okay, so A, C, and D are correct answers. Okay, so my question there, I forgot to write, uh, not belong to the group. So not taking care of our body. And that would be B, okay? But if this question and you answer B, it's wrong, okay? If this question and your answer is either A, C, or D, so correct. Okay? Okay. So, that's it for your uh, midterm exam next week. So, we only have 10 items each subject. Okay? So, you just have to choose the letter of your answer. So, you may open your books. Okay? And for the math also. Everything is in your book. Okay? So, I will send the PowerPoint to you so you can review the topics. I wrote it there, okay? And also the answers for today's review test, okay? Teacher, do you want anything? Okay. Ah, the Kun Kun will send the answer to you in the next line, okay? Then the students check the answer for themselves, okay? What do they get? Okay. You can check, but be honest. Do not erase your answer, okay? Be honest, okay? แล้วแล้วหลังจากที่นักเรียนตรวจเสร็จแล้วนะคะก็ส่งมาในไลน์นะคะของสายแอนแมสนะคะ so sorry we only have one minute left do you have any questions so good luck on your midterms next week okay you just have to read your books everything is in there or you watch the YouTube YouTube link that we send from the start okay so from chapter one until the last chapter that we have you can. Everything is in there. Okay? You just have to read and study. Okay? So, thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining and thank you for your cooperation. So, I'm going to see you again next time. So, good luck on your midterms next week. Okay? Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Good luck. Study. Goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 B